So the other day when the Capitol building was stormed, white privilege wasn't the only thing that was being exercised. Sticky fingers was also getting a workout. If you haven't already, check out the BBN Apparel Store. I'm pretty sure you got something that you've been looking for. Hey, to be honest with you, I did not mean to make that rhyme. Don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't just dream about what you're going to do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it. Be about it. Be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. Embrace that struggle. Surviving that struggle will strengthen you. Oh, Black Diamond, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN Jack Frost What's up party people? I so Yeah <laughs> So apparently Apparently This is not funny This is This is absolutely not jokes or shenanigans But apparently the Department of Justice is warning, I'm guessing, uh, you know, the people that it, it, would, it would matter to, but the Department of Justice is warning that national security secrets might have been stolen. Okay. Now... <laughs> Could we just stop real quick? Okay, so we know for a fact things were stolen. Just so we could be clear, there's that one guy. Uh, I think his name is Richard Barnett, and um, he was seen inside of Nancy Pelosi's office, and he was also seen out on the street with with mail from Nancy Pelosi's office. So we know for a fact that there were things that were stolen. Just so we could be clear. And if you even want to be more clear on whether things were or weren't stolen, we literally seen one dude carrying a podium. What in the hell? So they want to, I don't know what they want to do at this point. But, um, okay, I need to just rewind a little bit. As far back as about a year and a half, two years ago, Donald Trump put white nationalists on the list of groups that should be watched just so we can be clear okay i know people are going to be like jack you don't know what you're talking about and i'm like no i know what i'm talking about i'm telling you right now about a year maybe a year and a half ago donald trump put white nationalist extremist groups on a watch list you know the same watch list <laughs> I made I was making fun of this a while back but um apparently Peter <laughs> those people that want to take care of animals they're on the same watch list so what happened was white nationalists was actually moved higher on the list I don't think this is the thing that Donald Trump personally did but I'm just telling you what happened during during his administration with that being said they had planned for everybody that don't know this was planned i know there's a lot of people that don't know that a lot of people that don't agree with it and a lot of people that don't believe it but this was planned this was a planned thing um they actually had shirts made up that said civil war september 6 2021 yes they had shirts made up so this was a planned event my point being is that there was a good chance that there were people inside of the facility that could also have not even had been American. 
a, we could have had spies in the building. Like real James. If you saw somebody walking around with a tuxedo on, I'm telling you, that was him. Anyway, they could have had spies in the building. There's absolutely no telling. And check this out. So besides the podium and besides uh, the paperwork that we've seen come off from Nancy Pelosi's desk, which was mail. So that's a whole federal crime by itself. Good luck, Richard Barnett. <laughs> he got he got a long road to hold. I don't know what to tell you. He might have if if that guy has some kind of like incurable disease that he only got like 30 days to live, boy, if he went in. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But um he's finished. I'm just just off the rip. He's finished. With that being said, besides those things that we saw that were stolen. They were, they, um, there was actually tearing, they was literally tearing things up to take as trophies. They were taking things home as trophies. So, guess what else got stolen? They, there was laptops that were stolen, y'all. There was electric devices that was stolen. Yeah. So, when we say that these people went absolutely savage in that building, that's what happened. This is in a... Oh, man, you know, they was just in there. They was walking around. It was like tourists. No, that wasn't what was going on. It was not like tourists. They was in there raising a fuss. And hold on. Um, that's not even that's not even the most shocking detail. Guess who was amongst them? People who worked in the building. <laughs> you can't script this stuff. There was people who literally worked in the building that was amongst the rioters and they were flashing their badges to gain entrance to other parts of said building. Yep, that was happening. So, um, <laughs> yo, look at this point. At this point, right, we really, we really have to look at the people that swear to be patriots like, they're probably the most destructive people to the nation. Like, think about it. People like blaming black people for this and black people for that. But we the fools is tearing up our own neighborhoods and killing our own people. Don't forget that. That's factual information. When was the last time you seen a black person go down to the to to, to, to um the Capitol building and raise a fuss? I mean, we tried to go to D.C., they wouldn't even let us look at monuments. They had security there, real security. They had the military there. Um, there's going to be a lot of people getting fired, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this out there. There are going to be a lot of people that's going to get fired. There are going to be a lot of people that's going to be, uh, that should be put in jail and should be fired, might I add. Uh, at this point, I live in America and I don't want, uh, countries that hate america to know how they could launch missiles over here at random targets and i might be at one of those random targets just so we can i'm gonna be like god oh god i'm gonna be seeing the missile come down on me i'm gonna be like i hope i did everything i could <laughs> i don't know what to tell you so um this is basically what's going on just so you can know the people who ransacked the capitol building some of the they had this one guy running around with mask on with zip ties. What was he doing? <laughs> oh, no. For everybody that didn't see that guy, they had a dude running around. He had a mask on with zip ties. This is not a lie. Oh man. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um the FBI is asking for help identifying people. I got a question. Is is it a is it snitching if we help the FBI arrest these guys? Because everything in the world seems to be snitching the black folk. If you're not a this is a, yo this is so real. If you're not allowing the person to get away with a crime to black folk, you're snitching. So I want to know if 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 somebody helps the FBI catch these in the are we also calling that snitching? Or are we gonna finally? get rid of some of these stupid ass street rules that normal people are supposed to also live by that ain't living in the streets like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other
hug the kids for me, I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. My Bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?